Hey y'all, this is Abstract Jazz and you're watching Under the Radar. Hey, I see my welfare baby. Ducked off in the minivan. We're here today with Trey Beck. Hi Trey, how you doing? I'm good. So Trey, tell us, what kind of artist are you? I'm a realistic, realistic rapper. I mean, not a rapper, more so an artist. Mm -hmm. Basically, my talk about my environment, things that I'm surrounded by, mm -hmm. and I'll come out with my music. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what kind of things are you surrounded by right now? Man, basically, like a lot of negativity, but I also turn it into a positive. I turn it into a positive into the music. Because mm -hmm. at the time, what I'm talking about, what the things I done did, or things I done did in the past. I can actually be doing it, but I'm still recording music at the time, so. Mm -hmm. So when did you start recording? Uh, my first time in the studio was um, 2011. Mm -hmm. My cousin um, put me in there. And basically, like, he used to like, kind of like laying on me, like, yo, you gotta take it more serious, like, cause you hard for work. Mm -hmm. So like, just by him saying that, and like, he a rapper too, so it meant a lot to me. Mm -hmm. So I just took it and ran with it. But I, I should have been like, I should have taken more serious back then, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. So I ain't recently started taking the serious, so probably like last year or like 2013. Mm -hmm. And what, is, what are some of your inspirations? Shit, man, just my, my upbringing. Mm -hmm. so I come from nothing, like, grew up hard, man. That's why you see like welfare beef, like, shit ain't made up, shit work, like, mm -hmm. come from nothing, man. Like, lights up, people's getting high, getting put out, mm -hmm. all that type of shit. So, like, that's my influence to make it out of them situations. Mm -hmm. um, put myself in better predicaments. Okay, so like you said, your, your mixtape is named Welfare Baby. Yeah, Welfare Baby. Can you explain baby. exactly what Welfare Baby is for the people that don't know? I mean, it's self explanatory, like Welfare Baby. Like, I fucking like, grew up on welfare, like, getting food stamps, cutting pay bills, we had to sell them motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? like, Welfare Baby. Like, that's why I got the independence card on my artwork. Like mm -hmm. me blended in. I wanted to do something different too. Plus, you know, everybody talk about like trap this, trap that, or mm -hmm. you see niggas on they cover up with um cars that they never even seen in real life, mm -hmm. but they don't even have. So I wanted to do something that I'm, you know, that people can relate to. Mm -hmm. Cause everybody not balling right now. Everybody right. For niggas is in struggle. Right. So I wanted to be like, basically like give you the reason why things are going on around me and the reason why I'm involved in such things or my peers is because of the fact that we welfare beings, we have nothing. Mm -hmm. So it's like we trying to meet something mm -hmm. by doing whatever we gotta do by any means. Mm -hmm. So what has been some of your standout moments so far? As far as music or life? Um, and like with you being a rapper? Um, I mean, I ain't really do nothing yet. I mean, I did, I did a lot, but I'm still with Harvey. Like, like I over enough for um. Mr. Um, Cheeks in Philly, mm -hmm. man, my homeboy. Over enough for Mr. Cheeks. Um, I performed down the line at the mm -hmm. Palace. Oh, that, um, how big was that? Ranking. It was cool for it. We got a lot of love down there. I met um, some good, you feel me, people to network with. Mm -hmm. um, basically, I done there performed everywhere in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. um, just still, like, I still ain't really doing it. Like, this is my debut role. This is really my second mixtape. Mm -hmm. This is my first as a solo artist. So, like, I'm just really still got like a lot of explaining to do. I'm really trying to get my name out there, mm -hmm. get my voice heard. Mm -hmm. so. Do you have any upcoming projects right now? Oh, I got a lot, I got a lot like of surprises. Like by projects, I mean like any music videos oh, or yeah, any other things yeah. that you're working on? Yeah, I wanted to do it different because like right now we in it like a music is like, it's like everything saturated right now. Mm -hmm. It's like it's everybody right. Like you go back to like 2009, everybody was trapped. Yeah. Go back to like old five, everybody wanted to be in the NBA or NFL. So mm -hmm. it's like everybody rapping right now. Right, so like it's that's like, the trend right now. Yeah, so I wanna like stand out. So like that's why like I got my posters and shit, but I'm not gonna put it out until my mixtape is out. Mm -hmm. That way, cause like you know how you might see something like damn, alright, I'm gonna download that, come out in a week. Mm -hmm. Like then you might jump on your phone, you got a message on Instagram, a DM, you might forget about it. Right. So I wanted to be as soon as you said you could rap. Mm -hmm. That's why I ain't doing no videos until my tape drop. Then I'm gonna do videos for um songs out the tape. Basically right. get feedback to see what the songs that people like the most. Right. And then I'm gonna run with those. Right, like a listening party or something. Yeah, yeah, I'm having one of those too on the side. Y'all more than welcome to come if y'all free. Okay. Um, 
So can you tell people where they can find your mixtape? Yeah, it's gonna be on Matt Piff. I might have all copies. Um, motherfucker, I'm delivering them bitches wherever you at. If you if you're too far for me to drive, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm mail it to you. I'm selling them for a dollar. If you ain't got a dollar, just take and pay with your attention, man. Are your mixtapes for a dollar? Yeah, oh, that's dollar. cool. Y'all better get be, that mixtape. People be selling them bitches for five dollars. I'll be like, <laughs> Niggas don't even buy Gotti shit no more. Why would somebody like you feel me? Niggas download Gotti and Jeezy like the dudes that's hot. Mm -hmm. So they not about to give you five dollars. I mean, unless it's somebody you know or you or you real slick with your words to persuade somebody to give you five dollars for a CD. But. Mm -hmm. So if somebody never heard your mixtape, what would be one of the songs that you wanted them to listen to? Um, eight ten. Eight ten. No, it's called eight ten. Oh, it's called eight ten. Yeah, no, eight ten. Oh, 18. Yeah, okay. that's a track title, 18. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's basically, it's like, it's like a, um, a autobiography in a musical form, like, like what I was doing when I was 18. Okay. So it's like, that sounds that'd cool. be the song I get a lot of good feedback off of, like, when I be performing and stuff. Mm hmm Yeah. It's 18, yeah. Video coming soon, too. 18, that's gonna be a crazy video. What do you love about the culture of hip hop? New hip hop or, or new rap or old hip hop? Both. How do you feel about both? I mean, like, I grew up like, I was born like early 90s, so I grew up like, music that was hot, like DMX, Jay Z, mm -hmm. Nas, Biggie. So, like, they music was more so like, like, you can, like, it was like they was painting pictures. So, you close your eyes, you listen to it, you like, mm -hmm. damn, like, you can actually see the words. So, like, that's what I like about like the old hip hop. The new shit, I mean, it's cool, but I, I choose the old shit any day. I feel it. Yeah. All right, well, thanks, Trey. Thanks well, for your time. Thanks for having me. Welfare, baby, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe now to undergroundradar.com to check out rising artists every Sunday. See you there.